What's good, y'all? Rich Sosa back in the building with another banger, man. So first things first, before we go ahead and get started, I just want to go ahead and say thank you, God, for giving me this opportunity once again. And man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you know anybody looking to join the rich gang family man be sure to go ahead and turn on post notifications hit that like button and do not forget to leave a comment down below when complete so as y'all can see by the looks of the title and the screen today i am bringing y'all the top three most rare and best dribble god builds or dribbling builds on nba 2k22 current gen y'all and i'm telling you the first build that i got lined up for y'all is actually going to be called the point forward and this is actually my personal point forward build that is going to be coming with the park dunks the shooting is going to be out of here and then when it comes down to the playmaking and defense y'all most definitely know that i have to go ahead and always make sure i get y'all right in those area of the build so to start out with the finishing, we are actually going to end it off with a total of four finishing badges. Now, once we go ahead and get into the shooting, we're going to end it off with 11 here. And then when it comes down to the playmaking, we're going to be able to get up to 27 badges. Now, the reason why I made the setup so far how I did is because I wanted to be sure that I was able to maintain a good amount of defensive badges. Now, for me, that is the most important factor of this part of the build, which is why you're going to see that I'm going to also be able to play center on this build when running threes. A total of 10 badges is really going to make this build just that much more versatile on the defensive end, but more so importantly, all around this build is really going to help you out when it comes down to using this as a small ball big now the body shape that i would pick is going to be burly just so i could take up the most space as for the height this is very specific i know people like to go with six six when it comes down to the point forwards but i'm going to be going with six seven just to get that extra height then once it comes down to the weight this is really based off of what you want to do as well but for my liking I'm thinking 181 or you could even go ahead and raise it if you wanted to but as long as your speed is not changed everything is going to work out so you can go with 188 just to be safe as well then once it comes down to the wingspan i want to be able to get on this build the park dunks so as you can see as long as anywhere of the time to when we upgrade this build to a 99 overall if we can maintain at least a 70 driving dunk then you're going to be able to unlock the park dunks whether it be hitting it once you get to 99 overall or however you want to go about making this build but as you can see i'm going to go with the lockdown takeover and now let's go ahead and check out the build name and we have made first on this list the point forward build now the build names are only going to continue to get even better so this next one that i got lined up for y'all is actually another version of a point forward but with a completely different name so this one right here coming up at number two is actually going to be called the point power forward build and this one is actually going to be a little bit different instead of making this build out of the small forward we're going to be going after the power forward position and honestly this is a very rare point forward build all around i really like it because of the name but also with what it comes with on both ends of the floor so man if you are still here watching and you still have not hit that like button what i need you to go ahead and do is just that be sure to go ahead and subscribe so you can join the rich gang family in last but definitely not least what i want y'all to do is leave a comment down below out of all three builds that i'm bringing y'all today which one would you make why and tell me out of all three what order of lists are you going to name these builds after so of course to get started like i said earlier you definitely want to go ahead and put this build under the power forward position then from there when it comes down to the skill breakdown or the pie chart this is probably the most essential thing about this build so i know that when it comes down to a majority of dribbling builds you're definitely going to go ahead and pick just the straight up playmaking pie chart however for this build i'm going to go with the one split right down the middle with the playmaking but not only that what we are actually going to do that is very different is add in a little bit of the finishing so now when it comes down to that physical profile as you can see i went 
went with the one with a 74 speed, 71 acceleration, and a 67 vertical. Now, these numbers are going to change once we go ahead and get into the height, weight, and weak spend, so do not worry. But right here on the defensive end, I'm going to end it off with five defensive badges. Then, for the playmaking, I'm going to bring this up to a total of 26. As for the shooting, I'm really liking how this is looking once I go ahead and upgrade it. So, for my liking, when it comes down to the shooting, I'm going to go with 12 badges. And then also when it comes down to the finishing, I'm also going to go with another 12 badges. But from here, we have a lot of different options that we can work with when it comes down to this build. So the main thing that I want to focus on is being sure that we are able to maintain all of the attributes. But now, once it comes down to the height, weight, and wingspan, for me personally, this is the most essential part of this build. So I did end up using the metric system for this build. So what you want to go ahead and do is make sure that all you go into your settings, then from there, the units of measurements are going to be changed from the imperial to the metric system, and you're going to be all good to go as for the height on this build i'm going with 2.01 meters as for the weight it makes more sense to go ahead and drop your weight to the lowest so that way we are able to maintain elite physicals when it comes down to this build all around now once we go ahead and get into the wingspan this is very essential on this build as well so for my liking what i'm going to go ahead and do is bring the wingspan to somewhere around 208 but if you want to go with 211 that's actually a very solid one to go with as well but as you can see with the takeovers the playmaking the post scoring now if you want to you can really go ahead and change numbers based off of your own preference but i know for sure is on this build that we do have the ability to get contact dunks once we get to 99 overall now the slashing takeover and the shot crater are really solid i'm gonna go with whichever one is gonna make this build the best and honestly it's gonna be the playmaking and as y'all can see you can go and even make this build yourself since i just showed y'all the point power forward now that means we have one final build left over on this list and i'm telling you out of all the build names this one definitely has to be my favorite so coming up at number three i just want to be sure if you are still watching and have not hit that like button you are definitely about to want to go ahead and do so but coming up at number three the build that i decided to bring to y'all today is actually going to be called the point center build now i just brought y'all this build when it comes down to next gen but when it comes down to current gen these builds are much more different and especially with what they come with and what they are able to do is going to play a huge factor in how we are going to be able to use these kind of builds so with all that being said, man, just know that I appreciate every one of you who has made it to the end of this video. I really just want y'all to know that I'm going to continue to drop the daily bangers for y'all. So do not worry about that. As long as you are a part of the family, you're going to be in tune with what I got ready. So let's go ahead and get into the making of this build. I'm going to go ahead and start out putting it under the center position but when it comes down to the pie chart you have to go ahead and pick the one that right here is going to be the full playmaking pie chart now once it comes down to the physical profile this is really based on how you want to go about it but for my liking i would definitely have to say the speed or the fourth pie chart is the one that i would consider for my liking so what i'm going to go ahead and do Pick the one with a 66 speed, 61 acceleration, and a 53 vertical with a 55 strength. Now, from here, the shooting is actually going to be pretty solid all around. I'm going to go ahead and max out the mid-range, three-pointer, and the free throw, bringing up my post play to a 68 for a total of 12 shooting badges. Go with the 72 pass accuracy, 43 ball handle, and a 94 post control for a total of 28 badges. Now, once we go ahead and get into the defense, as you can see, the numbers are pretty solid right here, giving us 11 total badges. The rest of the attributes throw into the driving layup and driving dunk, and from here, you're going to be all good to go. Now, if you really want to, you can definitely make your own adjustments and changes to this build. But again, that comes with the risk of actually changing the build name. So right here, when it comes down to the height, we are actually going to be going with 6'9 on this center build. And as you can see, we did get a drastic change of stats, but as well as our physicals. Now for the speed, this is going to actually get a huge boost. So as you can see, if you go with the weight of 193, that's going to bring us up to a total of an 82 speed. And we can get a 90 once we max this build out completely with that gym rat badge. And then also we have the chance to be able to 
get the park dunks so if you go with an 82.0 or you decide to raise it it really comes down to what you want to do but man if you are still here watching just know that i appreciate y'all and i love y'all and i thank y'all and just to close this video out man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. And if you want to join the Rich Gang family, man, be sure to go ahead and turn on post notifications. Hit that like button and don't forget to leave a comment down below when you are complete. So as you can see, with the 88.0 wingspan, we are actually looking pretty solid on the round. And I just want to say, out of all the builds on this list, I want to know in the comment section. Out of all three, which one to you personally is the most rare and which one also has the best name? I am always bringing y'all that fire and the best builds possible. So just know if you want to watch that and see that continue to come through and be a part of the Rich Gang family. But the takeovers, you can see we can break ankles and speed boost with the playmaking. And we got the post scoring, rim protecting, and the glass cleaning. I'm going to leave it up to y'all. But as you can see together, we have made the point center build. Thank you, God, for this opportunity once again. And man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Thank God and Rich out.